Joining us now, speaking of stars, we get to hear this guy all the way until like 3 a.m. on Saturday night sometimes. Yeah, that's the right. best. Because of how late those UFC fights go to. I mean, we need to stop with that. Yeah. yeah we need to stop. Because that agree. just. Move that up an hour. That's just a whole thing. But that's not this guy's decision. This guy, double champ in the UFC, one of the only humans to ever carry two titles mm -hmm. at the same damn time. Obviously, wrestling legend, fighting legend. This past weekend, I heard him call the NCAA Wrestling National Championships, which is just banger after banger mm -hmm. after banger after banger. Ladies and gentlemen, Daniel Cormier. Yeah, hey, DC! What up, <laughs> what up DC? Boys? Hey, those What's UFC those UFC fight cards, man. I enjoy hanging out with you, Rogan, and Anik, but but like, bro, they're like till four. I don't know how you guys keep energy. Are you housing Red Bull? Like, how do you keep the energy whenever you're there? It's, it's, it's the East Coast ones that are late. The main card doesn't start till 10 p.m., but it's monsters, man. We got, I just kicked a couple monsters. I'm good to go. But, but honestly, you're going on adrenaline. Pat, like, you know, oh, yeah. being next to, even in the WWE, right? You're in the WWE watching the matches and everything. You're so jazzed up that it doesn't really feel like you're out there for seven and a half hours. That's how long some of them are? We start, we start at o'clock in Vegas, go till 10. We start at, I, I mean, hell, I don't even go to work until 5 p.m. on the East Coast. Prelims start at 6 card goes from 10 to 1 in the morning. So what are we doing? We're, we're sleeping in until about 1 p.m., 2 p.m., or how do we go? You know, I'm golfing, man. I fell, <laughs> like I fell in love with the game. On the East Coast, I can actually get a morning round on game day. It's the best. I'm I'm Michael Jordan without the money, the championships, or the uh, – Beers. The beers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah you're not drunk on air, obviously. How are you, golf? I assume you're good. You're a freak athlete. I'm not very good, man. But hey, listen to this, though, Pat. I'm not good, but I'm playing so much that I got a company that even gives me clothes now. They they sponsored me. Like, you know, you can do This guy's a professional too. golfer. Wow. Double chain golfer, baby. Commentator, professional golfer. I mean, you're doing it, DC. Let's get to another job that you added to your repertoire. And I saw you were battling on the internet streets. I saw you were battling against the wrestling faithful, the uh, amateur wrestling faithful, the NCAA wrestling people. And before it even started, he goes, guys, I'm hot. This will be my last <laughs> time doing the NCAA tournament. Continue to do things the same way and stay wrestling that hasn't changed since the 40s. I told the general public to watch a guy. told me he'd rather tear his eyes out than watch. So enjoy. I'll finish tonight and I'm out. I like a little promo yeah. to the wrestling community that was burying you. But I would like to let you know, as a very casual, and somebody that literally didn't even know the national championships were on. Matt Madness is what they were calling it. Ooh. It was awesome. I think you made it feel big because of obviously the voice of things that you've had in the UFC and what you've accomplished. It was fantastic to watch. I was captivated. I was locked in. How great does it feel to be back in there even though some of the people are bashing you? And is that a normal Matt Madness, like that electric? Because... The entrance, they, hey, oh, yeah. they're coming out of a tunnel. We got music. <laughs> they're coming out there. I'm learning that Penn State is like the greatest wrestling school mm -hmm. of all time. Their coach, Kale Sanderson, 149-0 mm -hmm. in college, then goes to Wednesday Olympic. Now he's 11 of the last 13 national titles. I was captivated, and I thought you did a great job. Is that what it's like every year? And what is the storylines coming out of that? Penn State's unstoppable? They won by 100 points. They could have split their team in half and still been in the top three teams. They are so good. This guy, Kale Sanderson, I don't know what type of deal he made with the devil, but he's won everywhere. He won in college. He, hey, hey, Pat, eight of those college victories of the 149 were against a young man from Oklahoma State, Daniel Cormier. He beat me in the national finals. So, And then we we're on the Olympic team together. He won the Olympics. It's like no matter what this guy's done, they've won. But it was it, it's, it's insane to be in that a building watching all the pride from the university. Pat, you know, right, doing – now doing college game day, there's nothing like the environment of college sports. Oh, yeah. It's rabid when you get to the NCAA tournament. There's sections of fans with the universities, and all the big universities have hundreds of people packed in one area just going crazy when their athletes go out. It, it, it's fun. But I try to tell them, though, right away, I go, hey, man, I, I don't have to do this. I don't have to do this. They asked me to do this. 
And I'm just trying to help the sport that gave me everything. Aaron Brooks is uh, won four-time national champion. I think he only lost three matches his entire career. His Jeez. coach right there, that's the guy. Oh, yeah. That's the guy right there, that bald <laughs> white. He's the one. Yep. He, he, is the, he is Neo in this entire yeah, thing. Yeah. I guess he – because Penn State's wrestling program before he got there, I don't know what it was. Obviously, everybody talked about Iowa, Iowa, Iowa. Then he's got two guys. This is uh, Carter – Starach, Starachi? Starochi? Star what is it? Starachi. Carter Starachi. Four-time national champion. Mm -hmm. Like so they're, good. They're, they're, you only he going to be a UFC guy. He's he, going to be a he going to be a UFC guy. Okay, so both Starachi. those guys are going to be UFC guys cuz that's the next question. Like it, what sucks is four-time national champion down here in the front, Aaron Brooks, four-time national champion Carter Starachi up there, like, only can win four times. Yes. Like, that's the yeah. amount of times you can win. They won national championship the entire time. The guy that Aaron Brooks on the bottom here took on from NC State, I think he's lost Aaron Brooks like three times oh. in the national championship. So it's like, that guy's number two in the country. Ah, who cares? Don't matter. Who cares? Go ahead and get out of here. <laughs> What's next? It's yeah. UFC, WWE, or wrestling coaching somewhere for these guys? What are your Ooh. thoughts? So the old way was coaching. But if you look to the left there, you see Aaron Brooks, you see the big old boy. To the left, that's Greg Kirkvalley. He was the heavyweight champ. So him and Starachi both have their eyes on the UFC. The WWE a few years ago started an NIL thing where they were bringing wrestlers in at the very beginning. They brought in Gable Steveson. They brought in the Creed brothers, who are both killing it right now uh -huh. on oh, WWE. Yeah. Those are my favorites. I love the Creed brothers. Um, Me too. But those guys have options now. But I think Starachi and, and Kirkvalley are going to be UFC fighters. The rest, Olympics, man, they go chase down Olympic gold. Jordan Burroughs, who is uh, the great American wrestler, walked up to Carter Starachi because Starachi said after the match, he goes, no friends in this business. I'm going to be at the Olympic trials in April. Jordan Burroughs told him, go get healthy because you're going to need it. Hey, those guys aren't playing right now when it comes to making Olympic teams, and I love it. Yeah, I'm I, here for the mess. He was with a torn ACL, I think he won. Isn't that right? Isn't that what it was? He never said what the injury was, but I watched him about a month ago have such a bad injury that he immediately took his headgear off and they just carried him off the mat. I thought there was no way that he would look as good as he did last weekend, but he did. It was fantastic. Hey, it's uh, magical. The season was great. I thought you called a great lineup. I mean, how many, how many, how many different weights are there? 10 weight classes, 20 different kids wrestled the finals, but I did every one of the night sessions, which go on Big ESPN. So I did the round of 16, the semifinals, and the finals. So we got a lot of eyes on wrestling, man, and that's exactly what I want to do. Yeah, I watched it. I loved it. The internet also loved... Uh, mm -hmm. There was a redshirt freshman uh -huh. who oh. got... Uh, Hey. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. One leg's going one way, one leg's going the other. Uh, uh -oh. Brock Hardy there is getting his groin ripped uh, oh by a guy goodness. named Jesse Mendez. And uh, the internet, this used to be called banana split, or has it always been a splatal? Is, and how does this happen? Yeah. And what do you do from here if this happens to you? <laughs> if you're hey, Pat, Pat, you know what you do? You hope that nobody gets the camera angle from the other side where you're <laughs> looking between your feet and you're at, but I'm sorry, I almost cussed. I'm acting it's like I'm on YouTube. Yeah, you're okay. looking like you're looking between your legs towards the camera. That is not good because you're helpless. This is not something that you practice getting out of. There are a lot of moves that you train to make sure it doesn't happen to you. Nobody tries this. So for Brock Hardy, by the way, a cool name. Great name. It's put in this, and this dude's on World Star now. He's on the McAfee show. Yeah. Yeah. That oh, yeah. kid has four more years to go through this, and he will never live that down. So unfortunate. Luckily, he lives in Nebraska. Where there just aren't many people, so. <laughs> Not have to hear about it at the gas station. Hey, Brock, you're going to be all right. Mm -hmm. You're going to be all right, Brock. Good luck, Brock. Hey, that's going to happen. Sometimes when you're living in the paint, you're going to get posterized. Yeah. Okay, whenever you sign up to go out there, there's a chance yeah. you're going to get your nuts and your groin yep. ripped apart. And that's just life <laughs> in the circle. We appreciate you for not only the work you do, but also we get to spend a lot of long nights with you and Joe and John. You guys do a fantastic you. job. You're the standard up there so much man i appreciate it hey i'm gonna see you out in philly you're gonna be out in philly oh you wrestlemania up? season's upon us yeah. wrestlemania season's upon us Hell i'm yeah. in philly baby what are you doing you got a little something cooking up on the road to wrestlemania here no, no, i'm just interviewing i'm just interviewing people and i'm just taking in the sights and then i do the post show i'm taking in the sights okay you're not there's no huh 
Man, they, man they, last time they brought me out there, they put me in a referee shirt, and I don't look good in stripes. They did me wrong, Pat. Yeah, well, they it's the white, wrong. the white too. I mean, that is, uh, yeah, yeah, I get it, ladies and gentlemen. Daniel Cormier, thank you, DC. Yeah, yeah, yeah.